So welcome back to the channel. Today we are on the Great Glen Way and we are at the very start. We've got about 60 miles to cross it. Loch Lucky, Loch Oi and Loch Ness. If you watched our previous video then you saw us load all that stuff into the boat. It has been working okay. What do you think Zoe? Yeah, we're, we're fully floating. Fully floating. It is a bit hard work because the wind is coming into us at the moment. We was expecting it to be coming the other way but we're managing we've it. We've done one mile, we've only got 60 to go. Yeah, one mile, 60, <laughs> 59 to go. So if you'd like to see us do the rest of it, make sure you subscribe and keep watching. So our mission today is to get from the top of Neptune's staircase, which is where we left, and maybe just to the start of Loch Lucky, which is Gare Lucky, and camp there for the night. Our original plan was to sort of get all the way across, or halfway across Loch Lucky, but I just don't think that's gonna happen. We did start late. We didn't get on the water until, what, two o'clock? It was just, yeah, 20 to two. 20 to two, so a late start. And we've got a bit of a headwind at the moment. So, yeah, that's our mission today. I'm looking forward to our first camp. Yeah, yeah, I'm really looking forward because I love that feeling of sort of just hunting for a spot, somewhere to camp. This is my first time, so I've not had those feelings yet. No, no, it's first time. Hi. Hi. Everyone's very friendly. We've only passed one boat. Yeah, and he was very friendly too. Yeah. He, uh, he slowed down while I was paddling. You'll have to let us know what you think of the audio in this video, because we've got new mics for this trip, because we thought we're gonna be front and back. So we're both on wireless mics. So let us know if you can hear a difference uh, between some of our other kayak videos which we've got plenty of if you fancy watching them, fancy doing a little binge watch. <laughs> We have just stopped for our second break. We've tied the boat on down there and pulled it up a little bit. But it is very hard to um, find a spot to just moor up and, and come off and have a little break away from the, from the boat. So if you are planning on doing this, make sure you don't do the day barefoot. We have got wet shoes with us, haven't we, Zoe? Yeah, we decided we've to We've got get wet there. shoes. We've just stopped again on this lovely little Moy Bridge, if that's how you say it. But the wind is killing us today. So fierce. If the wind was sort of going that way, it would be really nice. And it usually is going that direction, but not today. So hopefully tomorrow the wind will change, but we're about 1.2 miles from our destination tonight. But yeah, I, I want to get there. I want to get there now. My I want to set up camp and rest. We're saying it's like put us on expert mode because we've got a big inflatable boat. The sides are catching the the wind, but and yeah. we've got lots more weight. But enjoying it. But enjoying it. Enjoying it. The sunshine's amazing. It's beautiful. I think we're just approaching um, Gear Locky here, um, which is our first portage. Um, yeah, looking forward to this one. We've got a lot to portage. <laughs> yes, but we've got a trolley. Yeah. Let's see yeah. how it goes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll see you on the other side. So as we were getting all the kit out at Gare Lucky, I had my mic there just on the clip, not on the magnet. And it's been fine there all day. And so he's got hers there, but it just went in. It just cropped in. As you leant forward, I think it pushed that. Yeah. So if there's any scuba divers that watch my channel, or, you know, if you want to come to this little location, right at the end of this lucky, this lucky, this jetty, it's right in there. I am tempted to come back tomorrow morning and see if I can retrieve it, but I don't think they're waterproof anyway. So, we'll see. Oh well. 
What can we do? What can we do? We've still got one. We've still got one. So hopefully the audio is still good. Yeah, how are you feeling, Zoe? Yeah, good. I feel like it was a tough paddle today with the wind. Probably felt like I've done 20 kilometres. Yeah, I feel like I've done 20, not 10. Because we've done bigger paddles than that on the river. Yeah, but just holding the camera now like this, yeah. I can feel my shoulder. Yeah. So, uh, looking forward to a good night's sleep. Uh, some food. Some food before that. Yeah, uh, definitely. And I'm looking forward to um, a cold swim. Tomorrow. Tonight? Tomorrow. Yeah, cold swim tomorrow, I think. Mm. But yeah, we are on Loch Lucky. It's beautiful. It's windy. It's in the wrong direction, but we're still loving it. So that is where we've camped just over there at Gare Lucky. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the tents just there. But there's about six tents there. Quite a few people on bikes, a few walkers. We're going to walk back now, cook some dinner. What are we having for dinner tonight, Zoe? Yeah, yeah we're having pasta and sauce, cheese and broccoli. I think that, no, tomato, tomato and herb or whatever it is. But yeah, we're going to have some food. I'm hungry. Yeah. We're going to sit back and just enjoy the views good morning welcome to day two on luck lucky well almost luck lucky but we have to now portage all the stuff from the boat we can't really launch from where we camped so we've just walked the boat over there and around and down start of our next day the wind seems to be a bit better this morning Fingers crossed. It's a beautiful morning, as you can see the clouds still on Ben Nevis over there. It's beautiful. But yeah, all that stuff is just over there. I'm gonna grab that, stick it in the boat, and then let's get out of here, Zoe. Let's get out of here, Gary. Day two, what will this adventure bring? So we are just approaching Loch Lucky. Now you can see the opening to Loch Lucky in the distance, but we are off the Caledonian Canal, pretty much. We'll be out onto the open lock in a moment. I hope it's not too windy, but it's a lovely sunny day. Calm waters here. Not so calm out there. Not so calm out there, but we're just going to play it by ear. That's the thing to do with these situations. Always wear a buoyancy aid, and if the conditions get too bad, turn back and go the other way. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting out on that open lock. So, are you? Yeah. See where it's like. See the depth of it all. Yeah. But the plan today is to cover probably 10 miles, something like that, maybe yeah. a bit less. Let's just see what the wind does. If the wind turns, then we could cover that easily. But yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll probably get back to you guys when we've uh, stopped for our first break. Glad I'm in the into a boat for this chop. It is so stable. Yeah, we're hardly moving, really. Oh, 
safe. So we have made it across to this lovely little beach section before we go around the next little headland. How did that feel Zoe? Uh, it's nice to be on ground. Uh, it felt very hard. Uh, felt intense, like the wind conditions kept changing so you didn't know which way the waves were going to come and then they changed direction and then the wind would gust. But I feel like I've achieved feel strong yeah yeah me too I feel like we've been rewarded now with a nice little yeah. ow, ow. <laughs> a nice little stand on a sharp rock no a nice little lunch break so let's have some lunch yes, and then we'll get back to you guys soon this headwind is just mental the waves are real it's very hard work and we're making very, very slow progress as you can see. We're really struggling to move forwards. You're doing a grand job there Zoe! But yeah, we've hardly made any progress from our little lunch stuff. But yeah, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. We have just ducked up on this beautiful little shoreline. We had so much water in the boat, we've just emptied it all out. And we also noticed that there was all water coming in through the sort of zip seams. You know, there's only so much this little inflatable boat can take. Which is why we've decided that we're gonna not continue the Great Glen Way. And it's just the progress that we're making. Yeah. It's just one mile an hour. It's we're not going to make it in time in time because we're walking Ben Nevis on Wednesday, which is in three days time. Yeah. Uh, no, it's more than that. But yeah. We're just not going to have time. Yeah, we're just not going to have enough time. We'll do it again, Gary. But we're going to come back and do it again. But what we are going to do now is we're going to get the sail out. Where's the sail? Which we've never used before, and hopefully use the sail to capture all that wind which has been hindering us and use it to send us back that way. We're still going to have an amazing adventure, aren't we? Yeah. But we're just not going to be pushing into the wind and pushing into the wind. It's just not happening. But yeah, let's try and set this sail up, Zoe. What do you reckon? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we think we've got this. We've attached these little clips here, these little carabiners. How does that feel, Zoe? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Nice little dry run. We're, we're making slow, slow progress. One mile an hour is no good. And last time I did this, we um, we got past this on our first night and it's taken us two days to get here. So, I think you're looking forward to that, aren't you, Zoe? What? You're looking forward to that? Sailing? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> How fast are we going to go? About 30 miles an hour. No, I don't know. So this is really starting to work well now. Yes, this is working well, Zoe. I mean, put hardly any effort in at all to go that way. You made the right choice, Zoe. Yeah, you definitely. Made the right this is the wind we was hoping for going that way. That would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we made it back where we camped last night. Get lucky. I'm so glad we made that choice to sort of come back and not, and not do it. It was the right choice. The wind got even stronger on the way back. And what took us about four, four hours earlier today took us about one and a half hours on the way back. So that was the difference going into the wind and then coming back from the wind, with the wind. But Zoe's just setting some stuff up inside the tent. I'm going to get some food on in a minute. The sun is still shining, let me show you. My DJI mic that I lost is still down there. Probably dead. I'm not thinking about it. But yeah, beautiful. 
beautiful day. Shame we couldn't do the whole walk, but you know, it's always good to be able to make the right choice and say, no, let's go back. Especially when we're going that slow. But I'd better go back and help Zoe set up. I'm just going to show you properly inside the tent. Our sleep system. We did have a bit of a problem with Zoe's back in sure all mat. The puncture. But we've cured the puncture, hopefully. Um, she's got a high gear pillow from Go Outdoors and a Rab Ascent 700 sleeping bag. And I've got the Rab Ascent 500. And I'm on a Van Gogh Fermo Air uh, pillow, which is really nice. And I'm also on the wide, extra wide hiking chair. If you look at it, that's the, that's mine, and then that's so is. You can see the difference in width and thickness. I've, I've filled it quite soft tonight because I just found it a bit too hard last night. So yeah, that's our sleep system. It's looking good. First time I've ever had an expensive sleeping bag as well, so it feels nice. It feels very warm. Like last night, Zoe's sleeping pad, she woke up and it was just completely flat and she wasn't cold at all, and that shows just how good these sleeping bags are. The next day. Just casually paddling past the cormorant. Don't crash though, reverse stroke. So we are back on the beautiful Caledonian Canal. It's a really nice section. The river, it almost feels like a river. It feels really nice. But Zoe's doing a great job of keeping us going down it. The wind is on our backs finally. We had a great time yesterday with the uh, sail. It just felt amazing. Zoe was just saying how uh, she could really feel, feel it sort of pulling sometimes. And it was just making us sort of skip along the water. It was, it was, it was so much nicer than going into that headwind. But yeah, this boat, reasons why we failed, basically. It's an inflatable boat. As you can see, the sides, the pontoons are so wide and so high up out of the water compared to a normal sort of Canadian style canoe or a kayak. So the wind really hits you. It's really wide underneath and quite soft. And anything you put in here sort of presses down and then adds drag under the boat, which again, makes you slower. So yesterday our speed of about half a mile an hour, it would have taken us 10 days to complete the, 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 uh, the distance. And it just wasn't, wasn't feasible. At the end of it as well, we would have had massive shoulders probably. <laughs> But, you know, this boat is great for just spending the day on the lake or going down the river or, you know, going with the flow. It's not great on a windy day unless you're going with the wind, like we found out yesterday with the kite. The kite? I suppose that would be good, have a power kite attached to the front. But yeah, this boat is a great boat, great for lakes, just not great for multi-day adventures. And it's not advice. Uh, advertised as that it's not advertised as their touring boat but that's what we've realized we need to uh, we've outgrown this boat now I think we need to to upgrade at some point it's just the ease of having this boat and being able to store it so so uh, easily but we're going to enjoy this nice paddle now a couple of ducks ahead just chilling So as predicted, the wind has changed slightly now, and it's now a headwind again for us, going back. But we forgot we're going to have beautiful views of the Nevis range as we paddle back towards Fort William. You can just see all the low cloud and uh, rain just hanging around. But yeah, it's, it's starting to get hard again. But we're cracking on, aren't we, Zoe? We are cracking on.
So the wind has definitely changed. We just can't get anywhere. Well, when one person's paddling, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> the rain, the wind, we want to go that way and now the wind is finally taking us that way, which we don't want to go anymore. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be a struggle. We've got about three miles to go to Fort William and it's a, it's a fight, isn't it, Zoe? It's a real fight. It's a real fight. The wind's just died down a little bit, I feel. But right. yeah, let's crack on, Zoe. We, yeah, we've got to we, get there. We've got, we've got to get there. Ah, bye. So we have made it back to where we started from. As you can see, the wind is just horrible. That's what we was going into. So I'm kind of glad it's over. Yeah. We've just got to put all the kit away now. But we will be back again to finish the Great Glen Way. Didn't finish it this time, but we know why. The boat is just too slow. It's not made for these conditions. We're going into that headwind. We, three, three days of headwind. Three days of headwind. We like it that much that you know, once the wind changed, we went back into another <laughs> headwind. So I hope you enjoyed that video yeah. and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.